Tanzania is a country in East Africa known for its vast wilderness areas. Tanzania has a population of 63.5 million. 175 miles north of Dar es Salaam is a town called Korogwe. This is the home where Juma's journey begins. At the age of 15, Juma already stands at 6'11 and is really mobile for his size. Juma has a natural gift to play basketball. Juma's education and athletic abilities will expand greatly if he is given the opportunity to attend school in America. Juma is a 15-year-old that has great passion for the game of basketball. His dream is to play basketball and get an education in America. Juma has already had his first interview appointment with the U.S. Embassy. Juma's visa application was not accepted the first time. Each time anyone gets denied, the chances of them getting approved gets harder. We have a second appointment that was initially scheduled six weeks out, but with school starting, we have requested that it gets expedited. Their request was granted and they have an appointment scheduled for in two days. With Juma's new appointment getting moved up, all his paperwork needs to be updated and documents need to be printed so he has a hard copy. The coaches have given Juma a few days to say his goodbyes to friends and family, <laughs> including his mother, brother Abu Bakari and his sister Asma. Leaving loved ones is a huge sacrifice that Juma has to make in order to live out his dreams. Oftentimes, kids won't see their family for years. It's so important that they are given this time to say goodbye. Juma must get a few things from the market for his trip tomorrow. The main thing is a bag for all his belongings. Is there a better way to begin a 37-hour trip than to start it on a moped? Juma rides the moped to the local bus station where he will take a bus to Dar es Salaam's International Airport. This will be his first time traveling outside of Tanzania and his first time on a plane. Juma just turned 16 and now is leaving everything he knows behind. He is fearful, anxious, but most of all excited about living out his dream and all the unknown possibilities that await him and the unknown. Finally, he has arrived Julius Nyerere International Airport. He is greeted by his friends and family that live in Dar es Salaam, giving him one last time to say goodbye and then it's off to America. First stop is Amsterdam. Juma was supposed to get a Western Union wire before he left, but the Western Union was closed, so he could not pick up some pocket change for the trip. So he can't wait for the first meal to be served. When Juma arrived in America, he is greeted with immigration queues. The whole process from getting off the plane to clearing immigration takes about an hour if you're lucky and two hours if you're not. My guy just landed in Seattle. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the Western Union because Western Union was closed. I'm trying to get him some, some, some real food. He's... Juma! Yeah, good. How are you? Welcome to America. Hey, hey thanks a lot. Okay, so can you go to uh, can you go to B B nine and see if there is a yeah. Mi Casa? B nine. Yeah, it's supposed to be a B nine. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm on my way. You'll see. A, you should see something. I'm gonna. I can order you some food. So I'm gonna order you like two. You like chicken? Yeah, yeah, I eat chicken. All right, so I'm gonna get you. A, I'm gonna get you a chicken burrito. Have you ever had a burrito before? Uh no, no, that's my fight, son. Okay, so we're gonna get you a burrito for the first time. I feel terrible, but I mean, we we, we Western Union the money, but it was closed on Monday. He couldn't go in and get it. So we'll call him right back and we'll see if he likes. We'll see if he likes uh, a burrito. 
Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Here we go. We're in business. Juma's first meal in the States is Mexican food. In the US, food portions are huge and he has to split his meal into two portions. This is something he will have to get used to because at 6'11", 180 pounds, he will have to put on some weight to be able to compete. But he has time to add some extra weight. Finally, Juma has arrived in Southern California. It took him over 30 hours from Dar es Salaam. He travels through three different countries on three different flights. But it was well worth it to continue to pursue his dreams.